All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou burning sun with golden beam, thou silver moon with soft and gleam. Oh, praise him, oh, praise him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us in our worship today. Jesus said, for where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. As you promised to be with us, Lord Jesus, we, we welcome, welcome you, you here today. today. Help us, Lord, to worship you, to listen to you, your word and to pray in your faith that we might grow in our love for you and for one another. Amen. Amen. Reading Matthew chapter 13 verses 1 to 9, the message. At about the same time, Jesus left the house and sat on the beach. In no time at all, the crowd gathered along the shoreline forcing him to get into a boat. Using the boat as a pulpit, he addressed his congregation, telling stories. What do you make of this? A farmer planted seed. As he scattered the seed, some of it fell on the road, and birds ate it. Some fell in the gravel. It sprouted quickly, but did not put down roots. So when the sun came up, it withered just as quickly. Some fell in the weeds. As it came up, it was strangled by the weeds. Some fell on good earth and produced a harvest beyond his wildest dreams. Are you listening to this? Really listening. What a wonderful expression from Jesus. Are you listening to this? Really listening? I imagine a lot of our government advisors wish that they could shout this out to the public when they try to pass on new guidance for keeping us safe throughout the lockdown. Have you noticed that a lot of the stories about Jesus involve large crowds gathering? I wonder what Jesus thinks about our herd instinct today with large crowds gathering on beaches or illegal music events or protest marches who had to care for themselves or other people. He's probably more than a little disappointed that we seem to have forgotten his commandment, that we should love one another as he loved us. Because one way we can show our love for one another in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic is to observe social distancing rules and act responsibly. I have noticed that when reading the Bible during the current crisis, that a lot of stories do now seem to have a new dimension to them. Take our gospel reading today. I've normally been drawn to the story from the perspective of the soil type. And I've asked people what type of soil or ground would they describe themselves as? For example, are they like the road? Are they set and stubborn, unwilling to listen to what God has to say to them? Or are they like the rocky ground, listening to what God says, but too shallow to act on the word? Or are they choked with weeds and have become too distracted by the law of an easy life? Or are they the good fertile ground? not only listen to what God has to say but they understand and act upon it. As I read the story again today I wondered why the sower hadn't prepared the ground with more care so that he didn't waste three quarters of his seed on barren worthless ground and it was then that I was struck by the enormity of God's generosity 
it doesn't matter what type of ground we are, whatever our faults or weaknesses, our strengths or accomplishments, God loves us all the same. God doesn't just give his love to the good ground so that it will thrive and multiply. He lavishes it unconditionally on the hard-hearted, the shallow and the sinner. Without any expectation or hope of anything in return. So are you listening to this? Are you really listening? This is our God, the God who continues to scatter the seed for all. And it's our choice to decide what type of ground we will become. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for the amazing, beautiful world you have created. Help us to care for it. We thank you for the wonderful, unique people you have made us to be. Help us to care for one another. We thank you for the incredible tasty foods you have invented. Help us remember and care for those who are hungry. We thank you for the inspiring stories and teaching in the Bible. Help us to share this good news with people everywhere. Amen. God of all hope, we call on you today. We pray for those who are living in fear, fear of illness, fear for loved ones, fear of others' reactions to them. May your spirit give us a sense of calmness and peace. We pray for, you, for your church in this time of uncertainty, for those people who are worried about attending worship those needing to make decisions in order to care for others, for those who will feel more isolated by not being able to attend to grant us wisdom. Holy God, we remember that you have promised that nothing will separate us from your love. Amen. Dear Father God, help us to hear you today to hear your joy in the bird songs, to hear your heart in the chattery voices, to hear your voice in the quiet. Help us to hear you today. Amen. Dear God, please look after our mums and dads, our brothers and sisters, our grandmas and granddads, our friends and neighbours, our teachers and carers. Help us to care for the people we love. Amen. Was the Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, your kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus told us stories to help us understand. He talked to common people who fished or worked the land. So listen to the story about the farmer sowing seeds. Are you producing what you should or are you a bit of a weed? Well, the farmer spread the seed all right, but some of it fell on the ground. The birds flew down and ate it all as they hopped and pecked around. Some seed fell upon stony ground where it was hard to grow. All seeds do need some fertile soil, as all you gardeners will know. These seeds grew very quickly, but when the sun grew hot, because they hadn't many roots, it burnt them up a lot. Now all the seeds fell in the thistles, so they hadn't got a hope. Anything choked by thistles wouldn't find it very hard to cope. But some seed fell on the good ground and grew and grew and grew and bore lots of lovely fruit as it was meant to do. And we hope you do too. The rushing wind that art so strong, the clouds that sail in heaven are Rejoice, you lights of evening find the voice 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 And in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.